Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is another great applications video, uh, so it is for any Android device, but I'm, as usual, focusing on the uh, Transformer Prime tablet aspects. And this is actually a application I've covered before, but I'm revisiting it because I want to give it some uh, credit and kudos uh, because of the improvements that have been made to it in the meantime. The application I'm looking at is... Google Currents, a news aggregating service that has only been available in the United States until recently. You had to get it via other means off the um, Play Market, uh, but now you can download it from anywhere in the world and uh, significant improvements have been made to it and I'll show you what those improvements are if I load up the application. Uh, if you want to have more information about the interface and how the application works in general, please do visit my other review, as the functionality is more or less stayed the same, but there's just been some significant improvements and enhances to a couple of bugs. The uh, first improvement that's been made is to the actual syncing uh, to get the new stories before each uh, new story would sync individually and it could take up upwards of 30 seconds just to do one so if you look at the number of icons that I have here it could take as long as six minutes to sync all these but now if I sync them you will see a little bar which will run across here which will go in probably about well, 15 seconds if, if that so I'm going to uh, press the sync button now which is here so just watch in the bottom corner it will probably be very quick Sync now, there's a blue bar, and that was it. Simple as that. I'll do it again just to demonstrate because that was so quick. There we go, and that's about three seconds, if that. So that's the first significant improvement. It loads very quickly now. I'll uh, just choose one of the um, actual content areas now, and I'll show you the other significant improvements. Again, loads very quickly. I'll look at the text section and it loads up the stories very quickly and scrolls all very nicely and I will then zoom in to one uh, new story and as you will see here if I just scroll onto the next page and the next page probably not the best example let's choose one which is has a slightly that's not going to have more information um, so as we can see here the text is very big because I like to read my um, articles in quite large text on the tablet. Uh, before, if you had the text this size, it was all disjointed and off to one side and it didn't quite work. And so you had to have the text at a much smaller size. Usually, uh, you would have to have the text settings at medium, uh, which was much smaller. Still readable, but I, as I said, my preference is to have it large. And when I went large, it would skew all the pictures off to one side and nothing would be aligned and it would be unusable essentially but now it is very usable I still would say that I would like one column and maybe some options down the right hand side such as Appy Geek and Zite on the iPad um, but nevertheless it's much more user friendly now so Google uh, Currents now is a, a very usable application on tablets and I would recommend it the one thing it doesn't have unfortunately still and it's the one drawback is that unfortunately it doesn't have and I will show you here um, I guess currents it would probably be somewhere around here unless it was Google currents uh, but it isn't there is no widget and I think it would benefit from a widget to put on a home screen because if you look here I have these two new story widgets here which are for Appy Geek and if I launch them it goes straight into the application and it loads it in a very nice fashion. Uh, so I still stick with Appy Geek because it's more accessible. But that's my quick um, revisiting of Google Currents. I do recommend it as an application now. So um, give it a try. It's absolutely free. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon in another video where you can smile, comment, view, subscribe and all that jazz. Take care, everyone.